Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Days of Our Live review for Thursday, January the 12th, 2016. Let's jump on into it. Um, this must have been the episode where everybody got big balls and brave all of a goddamn sudden. I was shocked to see um, Victor when when um, Desmond announced that him and Nicole are getting married. Victor said, what well, I was taught, if I ain't got nothing to say, don't say nothing at all. And he did mess with Nicole a little bit, talking about, oh, so you are Desmond, oh, so you're a Kiriakis again. He said, yep, yeah, this time I read the good one. You ain't married a good one. You married, de you married the devil. Well, I hope you realize that Nicole Brady, your best friend, could have much find it in his heart to be happy for you that you marrying that soulless devil. Honey, ain't nobody going to be happy that you married that devil but you. If you happy, uh, be happy, but the little temporary moment you happy for. Ain't nobody finna feel happy for you, Nicole. Ain't nobody happy that you finna get married to that thing. But if you wanna be married, you go right on ahead, honey. You wanna be attached to the devil incarnate? Honey, can't nobody stop you. All we can do is just pray for you. Pray for you. That's about all we can do for you. That's all we can offer you as a prayer. I hope you make it out alive without your skin getting damaged. So we got Brady starting off the episode with um basically and no words or less telling the telling uh, Chloe to wake up yelling at her like he's some kind of mo wait Brady is a moron what the hell is I'm talking about Brady has always have been a moron and an idiot and you think yelling at a woman in a coma can wake her up or what was you going there the wake her up the Hope she respond to you. What was you going for there? Nancy came in, called him, told her she's taking you out the visitor list. And what the hell is wrong with you? If I were her, I would have knocked you across the head with my purse. If I was you sitting there yelling at my dog, yelling at my um, daughter in the damn coma, you sitting there yelling at talking about to wake up. You the, you destroying lies as we speak. She ain't destroying nobody's lies. It's called protecting an innocent baby from a devil. That baby can't defend itself from death's moles. She doing the right thing, protecting that baby so uh, you might um you might call it um risking lives or whatever the fuck you call it Brady I call defending somebody that can't fight for themselves aka meaning that baby so you call it potato I call it potato so whatever you say Brady um uh, we got Eduardo and um Dario arguing about the chill Guys, he think Kate stole the chill, and him and Dario gets into it in Club TDB. They arguing so hard, calling names out so fucking hard. Danny, my notice Gabby came in the damn um, came in the club, and he and I mentioned in Chad. I think she, he mentioned Chad and said Chad and the the Mara name, and they asked that about. Dario, the first one to get defensive, don't try to play it off like it was nothing. Oh, you worrying about the Damaris? Oh, you worrying about the Damaris? Where did the Damaris at? You need to be worrying about your family, not the Damaris. Boy, you take offense to everything, don't you, Dario? That is so sister. Why you sitting there chewing her ass out for him? She asked you one simple question. You can't be calm enough to answer that. See, that was why, this is why you singing that don't nobody want to deal with you, Dario. Exhibit A, you always acting like a fucking brat. Now, that's your goddamn sister. Did you have to give her all that? All she asked y'all, why you mentioned her name and what did y'all do? You see, your daddy was calm. You sit there yelling and arguing with your own damn sister, telling her to pick a side, basically. Really, Dario? But then again, you ain't bright neither. You another brighter. You not that bright neither. And I don't look forward to seeing you every day neither. And another thing, you and brother can go for brother because y'all both hard head. So, Dario get the wind that he think um, Andre them stole the damn chip. Even though the chip do belongs to Andre. Mr. Smart Ass, Mr. Smarty Pants, decides he'll go find Andre, confront Andre. Andre starts to walk away. He decides to pull a gun on Andre. 
a goddamn Demera. Now, Dario, I'm gonna excuse you guys. You don't really know nothing about the Maras. And or you don't know how powerful and strong they are. I'm gonna excuse you for all that. But one thing you learned today, never threaten the Demera. Don't pull no gun on the on the Demera. Don't even must come at them in a harmful or threat or threatening way. Cause you seen what you got. A goon putting the gun back at you. Did you really think you were gonna walk up to a Demera and pull a gun out them and they ain't gonna have no goon waiting around the corner dog? They either knock the hell out of you and or hit you across the head with a gun and or shoot your ass. Did you really think you were gonna sit there and hold Andre up there with a gun on with the with the gun on his kidneys and nothing was gonna happen to you just gonna get away with the scot free? Did you really think that? Like I said, then again, you ain't never met the Demera or never been there been with the Demera. I know how they move, so I'm going to excuse you for that. Dario, I'm just going to need you to never do that again, you idiot. Go on pulling a gun out on the Demera. That was mistake error number one right there. Threaten them, then you going to pull a gun out tell them that you ain't going nowhere. Did you really think they ain't going to have no goon broken off protecting them? Ready to shoot, the, ready to shoot your ass back? Are ready to shoot you and you tip to try to shoot at the man. Whatever, Dario, you got yourself a good ass lesson today. Never fuck with the Demera. And you'll learn that the hard and you gonna learn that the hard way. So we got JJ on the case. Him and Lieutenant Lieutenant Range, I think that's his name. And JJ on the case not about the person that Wardos and the Demeras. So basically, he got that thing on it. So now they know that Club TDB is a uh, Club TDB is a front for Eduardo and, and Dario illegal dealings. So um, after he got an earful and got the information he needed, he goes and runs to Gabby, call her and tell her you need to be careful. You need to um tell her you need to be careful about your brother coming and going because they're doing some shady business and you can get involved in it and they get hurt. Which I heard a spoiler a couple of times that Gabby, Gabby and um Gabby and Abigail are gonna get kidnapped. So I'm guessing this is where it come in because it's basically all full out war for these damn micro these um microchips. So we find out after Katie and Andre put their heads together, Andre basically bragging, thinking Kate got the microchip back, the mom, the hard drive back, or whatever that other thing they said. Find out he don't got it back. So Andre's like the bragging. They find out we we see Andre going to um going to the karaoke to confront um Desmos, confront the devil himself and tell him we know you stole it now give it back. Basically Andre tell him and little words of less. Look, that is the the, the future of the Demara. Don't think I won't will will and will not do anything to get closer. He said no. He said basically don't think I won't do anything to get this chip back. That means I have to kill you to get this chip back, bitch. We is on and popping. So, baby, if it'll be a whole full out war about this hard driving these microchips, I can't wait to see that happen. So, that means Dash finna get good and about damn time. It's good, but semi good, but we're finna get good now. I see what these little damn microchips, these microchips and, not, and a hard drive soundboard or whatever the hell it is. Then we got Katie R. Eduardo getting to it. Basically, Eduardo still got it in his mind that Kate stole the chip from him that day. She went into the hospital and went in that room. He thinks she got it, but to find out she don't got it, Desmos, the devil, got it. So they have it out in the park. He called her um, a hypocrite or something. He called her sudden. She said, he said, you know what? I ain't got to take this. I ain't got to take this at all. I didn't do anything. You stole something. Basically, she defended herself by telling, bitch, how the fuck you lost something and you stole it from the Damaris? You stole it from the Damaris first. Now that it was in your profit, your hands. Now it was in you went from your hands. 
to their small's hands. And now you coming up here confront me about it. Yeah, um, Edwarder, you got the wrong person there, buddy. You looking, you need to go to the devil. Um, Edwarder, um, can I get a request then, please? If you going to kill somebody, please assassinate Desmos for me. I would gladly appreciate it. That's my request to you to me. And we going to see tomorrow because we seen um, Chloe open her eyes. Up they all dramatic and all today. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know. Let me know what you think about today's episode. I'll see y'all soon for sudden, and enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.